Hello and welcome to Swaycliffe Park School. My name is Chris Heslop, I'm one of the assistant principals at the school and I'm going to give you a short guided tour. The first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the fantastic location of Swaycliffe Park School. We're set in the Oxfordshire countryside with extensive grounds which help to create a calm and peaceful environment for our students. In addition to that, it's a fantastic facility for those students to use. So this is one of our Key Stage 3 classrooms. Um, within Key Stage 3 at Swaycliffe Park School, we have four tutor groups. Four tutor groups of six students. Um, you can see that the room is set up for the six students. Um, we've got our six student desks. Um, we've got our teacher desk. We've got our interactive whiteboard. The class of six are supported by two members of staff, uh, the teacher and the tutor LSA who works with them across the curriculum. If you look around the classroom, you can see the desks are the same. However, the chairs are very different. We've got four students in this particular group who, who like to sit on the orange chairs here, but we've got one of our students likes a chair that rocks back and forward a little to give them that sensory input. And we've got another student who likes a chair which moves a little more side to side, again, for their sensory input. At the back of the classroom, we've got one student in this class who likes to use a standing up desk. So these individual needs can be incorporated into our approach. The reason why we do that is to bring down any barriers that the students have so as they can concentrate on their learning and make that academic progress which we want them to do. So round here, we have the Key Stage 3 quiet rooms. We put three quiet rooms in during the last academic year. And the idea of these spaces is to give the students uh, an area which they can go to uh, either work quietly, um, because maybe they're finding the classroom environment just a little bit noisy. Um, it also gives them a, an area to go to work with a member of staff, maybe on a, a literacy intervention uh, or a numeracy intervention, where they can have some peace and quiet and they wouldn't be disturbing others. And it, they're, also, they're also great if students are struggling maybe a little bit with their emotional regulation. It gives them a, a space where they can go, they can be with a member of staff, where they can have a conversation, or they can just have some quiet time alone. Since we put them in, they've been really well used. We've put quite big windows into the quiet rooms, and we've also put windows and doors in the back of our Key Stage 3 classrooms, which means the rooms are accessible from those classrooms, but it also means that students can work independently in these areas and the staff can keep an eye on them from the classroom if they want to work independently. This is a Key Stage 4 classroom. Um, first thing to draw your attention to is the furniture, uh, which is bigger than the Key Stage 3 furniture to meet the needs of our older students. Um, I think it's also worth noting, you'll notice that the carpet in this classroom is the same as the carpet in the Key Stage 3 classroom. The, the wall colours are the same. Uh, the lighting is the same. We've got the interactive whiteboard, which is the same, because we're trying to create that consistent environment across the school, because we feel that that's in the best interests of our students and is going to help them um, feel comfortable wherever they move to in the school. Uh, another point to mention is in every classroom, we've got laptops available for the students, because some of our students uh, find recording their work on a laptop much more effective than recording their work by handwriting. We'll always support students to develop their handwriting but there's no pressure on them to, to write if they find that difficult. A real strength of the curriculum at Swaycliffe Park School is the range of subjects that we offer. Great example in this corridor here where we've got the design technology workshop, the food technology kitchen and the science lab. At the core of everything we do is quality of life. Um, the school have developed a quality of life programme to help our students and their families during the time that they're with school and then hopefully that will follow through for the rest of their lives. When they are at school, there's four key areas that we're focused on at all times. Communication, independence, self-management and achievement. And throughout the students' time at the school, they'll always be working to develop their skills in each of those areas. At Swaycliffe Park School, we've got a very strong therapy team. We've got three speech and language therapists, three occupational therapists, two clinical psychologists and two clinical psychology assistants. 
our approach in the school is to embed our therapy team into everything we do. So that means that their offices are within the education block, they're working with the students on a daily basis, both in group sessions and individually, just depending on students' needs. This is our occupational therapy room, uh, which is used by our three occupational therapists when they're working individually with the students on their caseload. This is the gym. It's a very well used space in the school. During the school day, it's used for PE lessons. It's also used at break time and at lunch time for sporting activities. In the evening time, again, a range of different sports take place in here. And then, in addition to that, it's used for some of our bigger events during the school year. This is the cafe, and I might be biased, but I don't think there's better school food being served anywhere in the country. This is our Expressive Arts building, uh, where our music lessons take place, both group sessions and individual lessons, and it proves really popular with our students. A really important area for the school over the past two years has been the development of our sixth form centre. Our numbers in sixth form have risen. Two years ago we had 20 students and now we've got nearly 30 students. So in keeping with the rest of our approach at Swaycliffe Park School, which is small transitions all the time, we've created the sixth form centre away from the main education block to give the sixth form students that sense that they are growing up and they are going to be treated slightly differently. Here inside the sixth form centre, the students have access to a range of social areas, to kitchen facilities, and also to classrooms and workspaces. Welcome to one of the residential houses at Swaycliffe Park School. This is the lounge area where the students can relax before school, after school, and also at the weekends. Each residential house uh, has a kitchen, like this. Um, they are important social areas uh, for the group and it's also where they eat their breakfast, their lunch and their dinner. In addition to that, the kitchen also provides a great opportunity to help the students develop their independent skills, whether that's cooking, laundry or being part of a team who keep the kitchen clean and get it set up ready for mealtime. All residential students at Swaycliffe Park School uh, have their own bedroom with ensuite bathroom. At the school we recognise how important a student's bedroom is to them and we really encourage the students to make that space their own so as to feel at home when they're away from home. That is the end of the tour. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed having a look around Swaycliffe Park and I hope that the tour has given you a sense of what life is like at the school. If you've got any further questions or you would like any more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch with our admissions team. Their contact details can be found on the website.